Hey guys, so I'm back with another Alchemy Stars video. So I am going to summon again on this banner. I do have the free 10 pull that they gave on the second day that I'm going to use. And I may actually use some more of my Loom Amber because I'm basically really close to another 6 star after my first summoning session. So I might just try to see if I can hit another 6 star in the summoning session. But let's just use... Our free pulls first and we'll see what we get oh my god that's terrible that's terrible I mean it could have been blue and that would have been even worse but that's not good but I mean at least that's 10 towards a six star so let's just do some singles see if we can get anything I should be really close because I did a lot of extra summons in my first summoning session, even though I pulled the 6-star because I wanted to get the 5-star unit. And that was a train wreck on that summoning session. I'm still looking for a duplicate. I do have the box still that I can use. And then um, Lakua would have the preemptive strike, but I would like to... See if maybe in summoning I can also pull a 5 star here. See, I'm already in the 50 range. Like, my percentage is already amping up. So here's a 5 star. Let's see what we get. Regina. Lovely. This banner, like, just does not want to give the 5 star unit that's on the banner. It's crazy. Uh, 12.5, so we're really amping up here. I may actually try this. I'm just curious to see if when there's a percentage, if there's a better chance of getting, like, multiple six stars, which we didn't, but we got multiple five stars. All right, so there we go. That's what I've been searching for. Now I don't have to use the box for her. So let's see what we get here. Toru, okay. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. I think hers is preemptive strike too. I figured I would try, you know. It'd be nice to get a unit like Hetty or something like that. That I don't have. And I did so many summons, it would have been a waste, honestly. But So at least I picked up a 6-star from doing this. I actually got what I needed. So I basically got what I needed from doing this, which is really awesome, honestly. That's basically what I wanted. Getting Toru as a 6-star is fine. Too, because then I don't know if there's ever going to be an opportunity to get these characters again or not. There's really nothing stated about it. So I believe her breakthrough is preemptive strike. Yep. It's preemptive strike, which is really good. So that's good. And then I also have Lakua as well. So, her breakthrough is preemptive strike on hers, which is why I wanted that duplicate. Because making her skill a preemptive strike is just really, really good if you're able to do that from the very beginning of the battle. It lets you decide how to use it, rather than waiting for the cooldown to come up. So then we have this box now, which is... I was going to use it on Lakua, but... I would miss Elma. So now that I pulled a duplicate of Lakua, now I can take Elma from this box. And that means that I got all of the collab characters, which is awesome. You know, they're not maxed out or anything, but I was able to at least pick them all up so that I have them for collection purposes. And they're all usable the way they are anyway. 
So the event is already winding down. We already have the preview for the next event. Make sure you get in and do the collab and get as much of the rewards as possible. For the box where I took the five star, it's on the second table here. So if you just started, make sure you at least pick this up so you can get your free five star unit. Lakua is very good. I honestly suggest if you're newer and trying to get this box, Lakua is probably the better unit to take from this box. There's nothing wrong with Elma, but Lakua has more utility overall compared to Elma. So if you're newer and you're getting this box, I do suggest to take her. If you really like Elma, you know, feel free to take whoever you want. It's ultimately your choice who you want to take. My recommendations are just based on which unit has more value overall. But you can always take whoever you want. But I do suggest if you're newer to at least try to get this. It's on the second dining table. You will have to clear this first one first. Which you actually don't have to clear this completely out. As long as you get the main reward, you open up the next dining table. So once you get this... It should open up the next one, and then you could start pulling from this one to try to get the five-star box, which I do suggest doing if you're newer because it's always good to have units. You actually need a lot of units in this game with the Calamity Codex and stuff like that because you need more than one team of certain elements. Make sure you get in and in the very least get this free five-star unit and the four-star unit, of course, that you're going to get from the daily long game. And then the pieces to max breakthrough him you can get from here. You could try to get to the fifth one to get the star crest. There are only four days left of this, so just try to get as much of the rewards as possible from here. We do have the preview for the next event already going on, so by next week we're going to have another event, more banners, all kinds of new stuff by next week so there'll be more videos for all of this new stuff next week and leading into the event they usually start posting stuff a couple of days prior to the event change we should start seeing stuff about this event going into next week so i will be posting videos for that and of course when the event comes out next week so make sure you get in and get as much of this stuff as possible in preparation for the next event so we're just going to keep on moving. That's how they like doing things in Alchemy Stars. They just like having lots of events, event after event. So there's always stuff going on. There's always content that you can do. So it's, I honestly really like the game for that reason. The events don't last too long either. I think they're the right length to finish them. This one's actually one of the shorter ones. It's only 11 days instead of 18. So you don't have that much of a leeway with it. So again, if you're newer, make sure you get in and get as much of these rewards as possible. Definitely try to pick up the five star from the box so you at least have that free unit. I hope you guys have gotten lucky with your summons and your free summons. And yeah, that's going to be it for this one, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Bye.